Welcome to Movie Phones Unscripted. I'm Rosalind Chow. I'm here with Sunny Saito. And we're going to ask each other a few questions. We're both in the movie Nan King together. So who's first? Go ahead. OK, I'll start with the first <clears throat> question. How did you first hear about this episode in history? And what was the hardest part for you in retelling this story? Well, you know, as a Japanese, and I grew up in Japan until when I was five years old, so I heard a little bit about Nanking, but not in detail, you know. And I know there's a, a issue about the fact that Japanese people are not really talking about that. Right. And I think um, when I first heard about it, I really didn't know what it was all about. But you never heard about it in history books, or you know, I know I knew about the war, you know, and all the Japanese uh, soldiers uh, went to China and took over Hong Kong, Indonesia, Philippines, places like that. Right. I read the book, you know, Rape of Nanking a long time ago when it first came out, what, 10 years ago? And I reread it again. And so that's how I learned about it. How did you first get involved with this Nanking film? And what was this experience like for you? Well, the, as I said, the first time I actually heard about Nanking was um, I actually met Iris Chang. I was having right, dim sum at a yeah. Chinese restaurant, and she came up and introduced herself to me, and that's the woman who wrote the book, The Rape of Nanking, and she had told me that she was always hoping that someday they would do a movie. And this was the first about, time you met her? She just came over to you? She came over to me, and she's just a bundle of energy, right. um, and, uh, you know, introduced herself to me, and that we began, you know, sort of a telephone friendship. We had lunch a couple of times, but, um, you know, she's passed away, and right. then I got a call out of the blue from the casting director, Mary Vernu, and asked if I would do this. And I, I was like, you know what, I, I, this is something I have to be involved right. in. Yeah, I mean, even if I do hair on this, I would do it. Did you do your own research before doing this film, and did you feel a strong responsibility to get all of the facts right? I think, well, first, the answer is yes, I did as much as I could as an actor. I mean, when you're an actor, you do as much research as you can about the character, right? right? And the history and environment in which the character was living in, and also the background and stuff like that. However, this character, I think, that I played was very different from anything that I ever done because I'm not playing one guy. Right. You know, it, it's representing the Japanese soldiers at the time. Yeah. And the fact that, you know, I realized that it's in order for me to honor those people is to get into their um, state of mind at the time that they were just following orders. Right. You know, and that's how I tried to get into the character on this one. Oh, so. We're unscripted. Unscripted. Oh, what watch can I out. Ask you? <laughs> watch out. I don't well, get mad, I get even. <laughs> okay. How long does it take for you to get ready usually all day? Okay. So, you know what? <laughs> Let me just tell you, I'm never late. Well, we've late. been together I'm for two days, right? For two days. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. And we decided to get together, like, in the morning All and right, in the afternoon. All right, you're such a tattletale. Okay. Okay. But here's the thing. I'm not used to dressing for cold weather. Oh. So, I, you know, I've got the long underwear on, then I take it off, then I've got the pants on, and the pants aren't right with the long underwear on, okay. then I have to take the whole thing off again. So that's what takes a long... And needless to say, our rooms are about 100 miles away from where we're meeting. And you're very good with direction, right? And I'm terrible at directions. <laughs> I've gotten lost Only from the acting direction you're good at, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Why do you think the festival selected this film? That's a very good question. It's a very good question, actually. I think I believe that the subject matter has to be told. It's a very, very important subject. And I think I'm going to go out of my limb to say this. I think... There's a lot of political pressure not to talk about this thing, actually, especially in Japan. And in the independent spirit of Sundance, I think it is a great platform to be able to be free and discuss a lot of different things. Right. And I think this film is a very, very, um, a, you may say, symbol of uh, freedom. At 3 p.m., two embassy police came and asked us to get all the refugees together so they could explain to them the plan of returning to their homes. A Chinese man was with them who used to be a low-level Chinese army officer. In order not to be killed, he became a Japanese collaborator. When he was alone with Miss Fultren, he told her not to let the young girls go. He wept as he spoke. What kind of kinship did you develop with your character? Cheng Yu Zheng. 
I, you know, how could you not feel kinship for somebody who, uh, I mean, she's somebody who I would well, like to Was this a real character? Be. Yeah, it was a real character, yeah. somebody who helped Minnie Valtran. And I would like to think, as I saw the movie, I thought, would I be able to stay behind and risk my life to save people, most of them strangers, right. who, um, and a people to whom I, you know, I are foreign to me, would I be able to stay behind? And I'm sure Zhang Yucheng probably could have escaped if she had chosen to, but she chose to stay with Minnie Votren mm. and um, support her as well. Did I think you do some are, research on her? I, I did a little bit. Yeah. There, she's a... Uh, um, She's basically, there were quite a few people who helped Minnie Votrin, right. so she's a conglomeration of all of them put together. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, thank you, Sunny. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Movie Phone. And thank you to the audiences for tuning in. I hope you'll all watch Nan King. It's um, a heart-moving experience, and it will change your life, I think, seeing this movie.